G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today I'm in China in Wuji with Claire from Solentech Academy. Hi, Claire. Hi, Morris. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You too. Now, Claire, what is Solentech Academy about? I'm leaning on the new 50 kilowatt hybrid Solentech inverter. This is a pretty impressive unit here, and a couple of gentlemen just left it on the table for us because. It is quite heavy, it's something like 74 kilos. Yeah, 70 kilograms around. But for 50 kilowatt hybrid with a battery port built in and three AC ports, that's pretty impressive. Actually, you know, in the market, the most companies, they don't have a such big capacity hybrid inverter. Mm -hmm. Their biggest capacity is like 12 kilowatts, but we, we're the only or maybe a real company have like 50 kilowatt hybrid inverter. And even some companies, they have 50 kilowatt hybrid inverter, they use like a tower style stand in on the ground. Our inverter is wall mounted style, so. Not just wall mounted, I imagine this could be out in a field on a solar farm. Oh yes, yes, it could be. Yes, so the unit here has got, um, I think it's four MPPTs from memory? Actually, we have two versions. One version is four MPPT and each MPPT have two PV inputs. We also have the pro version of two MPPT and each MPPT have four PV inputs. Wow. So with this pro version, customer can connect like a 210 millimeter wafer panels with this inverter. Oh, much higher current. Yeah, much higher current, like up to 20. Wow. Yeah. Now it's got an integrated DC switch. Now this is a big deal for Australia. Yeah. It means we don't need another silly box on the wall. We've got a perfectly good product built into the unit. Now, yeah. This wasn't an easy thing to achieve, I believe. Yes, it, it can help the installer save a lot of cost yes. and also the time on the, during installation. So you met the requirements of uh, IEC 60947.3 for the DC switch integrated into the inverter itself. Yes, actually for our hybrid inverter, single phase three to eight kilowatts, we already got this certificate. And for the three phase hybrid, hybrid inverter from 25 to 50, we are just doing the certificate of the DC switch. Right. Now I noticed this unit has three AC ports here. Why three? Uh, because, you know, most of the company, they have two. We have one called the diesel generator input. So in this input, you can connect the diesel generator with the inverter when the power grid is blackout. Uh, and also there is no power from battery or um, PV. So the diesel generator can work to supply the load and the charging the battery. So you've got the ultimate and reliability. You've got free energy from solar, yeah. you've got free stored energy in your battery, you've got grid energy when it's available, yeah. and if all of those fail, you can start a diesel generator yes. and still run your loads. Yes. It's, it's pretty much bulletproof. Yes, <laughs> because you know, you're some, in some countries, especially the undeveloped countries, they have some problem with the power supply. So with this function, our inverter can secure the customer's you know, energy, secur energy security. You know. Now, we've laid out all the components from the box here. Um, I can see we've got, these are the, the AC connectors. Yeah. So the three phase, three phase inverter, of course. Yeah. Um, so these are all just uh, plug and play connectors. They just clip on. Yes. So there's, everything is wired, pre-wired to these connectors and then plugged in. Yes, it's very easy to make the terminals and the, to plug into the inverter. Some companies inverter, you may see the, during the installation, they have to open the roof cover to make the connection. In that case, the, if the installer is not so professional, and when we remove the cover back, they may not uh, tighten the screw so tightly. So this sometimes will in, influence the IP degree. Yes. But for us, so just... Never yeah. open it. Yeah, never open that. You actually void the warranty yeah. if you open these screws. Yeah. Which is an encouragement, just leave it alone. It's a product made in a factory and fully sealed, yeah. ready to go out in the environment. Yes. Now, what's this larger box here? Actually, this is our smart meter. We can have a look. Smart meter is a device used to detect the upstream current of the system. So when the inverter, when the meter detects their upstream current to the grid, they will give signal to the inverter and the inverter will maybe like a stop or decrease the power generation to ensure there is no excess power to the grid. So as with most hybrid inverters, without this, the hybrid inverter wouldn't know when you're exporting energy yeah. or, or whether you're importing it. So this gives it the visibility of where energy is flowing. Yes. So we can see our smart meter 
have integrated three CTs, and this CT has a current uh, like up to 300 amperes. 300 amps? Yeah. Okay, that should do the job. So right. this can meet uh, most uh, scenarios um, demand. Cool. Now we've got two more mystery boxes here. What's this first one here contain? Uh, let's have a look. Actually, we can have a, we can see these are cables. Uh, this is a pre-wired cables we can use to connect with the inverter and the battery. It's a CAN cable, and also one is like a BMS cable. Right. So, so if you have a battery, you need to connect these cables. Yeah, they don't need to make make the cable by themselves. Mm. Yeah. Just a question on that: If you don't have a battery. Can you still use this unit? Yes, actually you can. Our inverter have one mode we call the no battery mode. So if you don't have a battery at the beginning of installation, you can use our display to select the battery as no battery connection. You know, we, our inverter is compatible with many brand batteries and you can find a list of batteries here. And if you don't connect any battery with the inverter, just select no battery. Right, so, so this can be will work properly. Understand, this can be a pure grid connected inverter um, with no battery, but it's battery ready. So at a later stage, you could add batteries yeah. with the BMS cable. Yeah. Now the third, uh, second box. What's in that one there? Okay, we can have a look. Actually, there are a lot of connectors in this box. And first, we can see this is the connector for the PV connector we call MC4, and this is one. This one also MC4 connector. And this is a multifunction connector. We can connect the battery and the, the smart meter. Some third party devices also drive through this connector. So this has dread functionality, yeah, yeah. which is something that's used in Australia and New Zealand. Yes, yep. yes. And this is a, a Wi Fi dongle, so we can use this to connect the inverter through the, to the server. Ah, the ubiquitous Wi Fi dongle, yeah. yes. And this is a connector for the analog output and also the dry contact. So with this connector, we can connect the, we can realize the heat pump control um, of the whole energy storage system. Right. And we've got some big connectors there. What are the big, the, the big ones here? Yeah, this is a battery connector actually. We can see from the shape and the outlook, this is a, actually a high, a big current battery connector. Right, and these are the, the, the lock-on ones, so you've got to press a yeah. little button, so yeah. they're actually very safe, because this can take quite a high voltage battery up to, I think, yeah. what, 750 yeah. volts? Uh, 750 volts, yeah. yeah. Right. And the current for this terminal is like 100 amperes. Okay, 100 amps, 750 yeah. volts, that's a lot that's of power. For, for the installation. And a free screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> And one more thing I want to say about this connector. Uh, I just said this is a connector support AO and DO. Um, we can use this connector to connect the heat pump that support SG ready function. So with this connector, we can connect it to the heat pump and use our software and application to automatically switching the heat pump working mode from um, normal mode or accelerating temperature mode like that. Right. I love the fact that you've incorporated more loads that you can control. So yes. um, whether it's uh, resistive heating, uh, heat pumps, uh, you can use batteries to store surplus energy. You really are the center of home energy management. Yes, yes. That's what we want to realize. So I believe this inverter actually is a 50 kilowatt inverter, but it has an overload capacity as well? Yes. 10% overloading continuously. So right. we can have like a 55 kilowatt continuous. Cool. And in terms of uh, battery voltage, what battery voltage range does this uh, It's from 135 to 750. That's enormous range. Yeah, but uh, compared with our competitor, you can see the down range is a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes at the beginning of the installation, the customer may don't have a lot of budget for a very big capacity battery. They may only connect three pieces of battery to wake up the to work with the inverter. So from 135 volts at up to 100 amps. Um, to what are you? Sorry, what's the maximum current that the? Oh, battery... current. The current of the battery is 100 amperes. Okay, so you got 100 amps, 135 volts would be your, your, your smallest 
battery voltage. Yeah. But at 100 amps, that's still 13 and a half kilowatts of power. Yes. You can go right up to the full 50 kilowatts at 750 volts. Yeah, right. and uh, up to, if you connect the battery like um, up to 700 watts, you will got a battery uh, system like um, we have com we have calculated uh, um, with a Palantax M1 series commercial battery, we can connect up to 100 kilowatt hour battery with this inverter. Wow, 100 kilowatt hour battery. That's that's awesome. Now coming back to the um, UPS port. So is it rated at the same 50 kilowatts as the output to the grid? Actually, we also support 10% overloading for the UPS port, so we can have like a, uh, 55 kilowatts continuously. And we also support 120% uh, overloading for 60 seconds. That's a long time. Yeah. 60 seconds. Yeah. All right. It's really useful to have that overload capacity for motor start and uh, pumps, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's a, it's a, a beautiful looking inverter and of course, um, once we turn it on, we get to see the display as well. We can't, this is a, uh, a unit straight out of the box, but it's got this beautiful bar graph in the front here that changes color. Yes, there are four colors of the light. We call this light eye light and uh, different color reference, different working mode. For example, the blue color means the inverter working properly and the um, orange color reference the inverter has Battery SOC is quite low. And then the red color means the inverter has some fault. So customer can check the fault on the display or on the application. Right. And it's got an OLED display. This yes. beautiful bright OLED display. Yes. So can you program the unit from the front portal, from the button here? Can you yeah. select so you don't need to use uh, an app to program it? Um, yes. Actually, you can use this button to check the parameter of the inverter and you can also do the configuration with this button. Actually we support two methods of the configuration of the inverter. One is the display, another one is the application. So this will be convenient for the customer. They don't have the smartphone, especially for the elderly people. Yeah. Now coming back to the dongle which we talked about previously. Yeah. Once you connect this to the cloud, um, I presume you get some sort of monitoring as well? Yeah. Uh, you have to go to a w website to do the configuration. It's very easy, only in three or four steps. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we also have the LAN version connector. So if you don't want to do the configuration, you can buy the LAN version. Just uh, connect a cable through this dongle to the router. Right. So instead of a Wi Fi dongle, you have a LAN dongle. And uh, we also have a dongle Wi Fi and a LAN two in one. Yeah, this one will be um, released to the market in next month. I like it. I, I like yeah. wired connections myself. It's so reliable. You don't have to worry about people changing their password. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, Claire, it's been a joy learning about this inverter. Uh, it's a very impressive unit. And uh, it's been great coming here to Solentech and seeing your factory, your manufacturing, your R&D. Uh, and uh, I'm super impressed. Thank you. Actually, we really want to welcome our customers to visit our factory. We have a very, very beautiful, clean and tight factory, yet with a, also with big capacity of the production. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Thank you, Maurice.